Hey everyone, Carl Brown again. Today we're going to learn our major scales organized three notes per string. Now I think that this is the best visualization method there is to really get your keys nailed all over the neck. And it also has the added benefit of teaching you how to play modes all over the neck. So if you can memorize these forms, preferably all on top of each other, because what we don't want to do right now is actually associate them with any particular key. We want to play them all together in one area, and then perhaps practice them all together in another area. And don't really worry about keys. We're going to take basic key theory, which if you don't know how to build major scales, expel like major scales in your head, and apply them to the guitar, just be able to find the notes on the sixth string of those, those scales, I want you to go to the Understanding Keys lesson, which is in the Intermediate Theory portion of this site. Just do a search of it. It'll get you up to speed really quick. And then we're going to apply that to these seven forms. And it's just going to really open up the fretboard, not only technique-wise for the fast three note per string licks, but it's an incredible visualization method where you really don't see any beginning or end to the forms, which is what we want. We don't want to be in a box, OK? So let's get to work on these forms. OK, so now we're going to take these um, seven scale shapes um, right at the seventh fret. We're going to try to do them all in one spot. This will prevent you from trying to get, in, if we strung them all along in one key, um, you got a good chance of uh, uh, kind of falling in love with that key because it's the first one you learned it in. So we're going to do them all on top of each other right at the seventh fret. So let's start with a shape built from the root, which is the first tone of a key. And we're going to start off the seventh fret right here. On the sixth string, first finger, then nine, eleven. Same thing on the next string. So we have, and then we follow that with eight, nine, eleven, then eight, nine, eleven again. So we got. All right, and then we end this shape with, come up to the ninth fret on the second string, nine, eleven, twelve. And then 9, 11, 12 in the last string. So all together we have this. OK, now moving on to the shape built off the second, second tone of the scale. We start with, we're going to finger this as a 1, this first finger, then the second finger at the 9, and then the third finger at the 10. The reason why we do that like that and not like this it's because it's going to be easier because the next shape is 7, 9, 11, uh, the next three notes. And it's easier to have this second finger just kind of change strings like that easier than just kind of go like that. We can just do it like that. So less movement's easier. Uh, the next two strings are the same as the fifth, 7, 9, 11, 7, 9, 11. So we have this. Then we have a two fret position shift up to the ninth fret. 9, 10, 12, then 9, 10, 12. So put that together, we have. Okay, moving on to shape it off the third. We have 7, 8, 10, then 7, 9, 10 on the next two strings. So we have. Okay, follow that, we do the spread out shape. Still at the seventh fret, like this, seven, nine, eleven. But then move that up a fret, same shape, but now at the eighth fret on the second string. Eight, ten, twelve, eight, ten, twelve again there. So the last three strings are. And let's we'll play the whole shape. Okay, and now on the, the fourth shape, shape of the fourth. Seven, nine, 11, and then 8, 9, 11. So we have, and then 8, 9, 11 again on the fourth string, and then 8, 10, 11, and then scoot that up to ninth, same shape, 9, 11, 12, and then the last string is going to be 9, 11, 13. So the whole thing. All right, shape bill from the fifth. This one's pretty easy. Uh, one, I mean, seven with your first finger. Nine, 
11, and the same thing on the next two strings. And then 9, I mean 8, 9, 11. And then 9, 10, 12. And then 9, 11, 12. So those last three strings. All together. Now the shape built from the sixth tone in the scale is going to be one at the at the seventh fret, then nine, ten. So we get that again, and we're going to do that for two strings, and that helps to get this next shape quickly, like this, which is seven, nine, eleven on the fourth string. Same thing on the third string. So we have. And then scoot up to the 8th fret, 8, 10, 12, and then 9, 10, 12. So we got this. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then the last one is a very symmetrical shape, shape built off the 7th. We have 7, 8, 10 on both the first two strings, and then 7, 9, 10 on the two middle strings. And then we have the spread out 8, 10, 12 on the last two. So we have. Okay, so I would recommend learning these things uh, right on top of each other and then play them in like at a couple different areas of the neck. And, um, you know, if I flew through this, just download the music. You'll be able to get it all there. So uh, the sheet music for this is, uh, and, and get it down. And then we're going to use this along with our theory. Um, to really uh, start playing things all over the neck. So stay tuned. <laughs>